So, what's going on, YouTube world? Charles Hutchinson and the hype. We're back again uh, today. We're gonna be looking at top speed. This is probably one of the most requested since being announced, since this new cover stock. Like, a lot of people are looking at this and are very interested to see what this ball is gonna do. Uh, and including me too. So, today, man, we're gonna be comparing it to the speed, the original. Uh, I'm a big fan of this. After Dom won on TV with it, this was, again, a lot of people gravitated towards it. Uh, so, we're gonna do that one. And then also, the 3D attack. So again, cover socks, these are both pearls, but they're a little bit different. Uh, again, with this new HK, HK22 cover stock, a lot of people are very, very curious, like, well, what is the difference? Like, again, these these additives, that's what Brunswick, you know, continues to inform us about, like, each different ball may have a different uh, additive package. So these, again, has a Formula One additive package. I can't, I, I, it forgets me, I forget which one specifically the 3D attack has, but uh, once we come up with uh, the numbers, uh, we'll go ahead and talk about that a little further. But that's it. If you're in South Florida, hey, get over to Sawgrass Lanes, Bowers Edge Pro Shop. They all do an amazing job. And then if you really want to support the channel, use the links below. It goes a great way, again, supporting what, what I'm doing and what the channel is going to continue to grow into. Uh, but yeah, man, that's about it. Let's get to some bowling actually now. I'm done talking. So I do have a fresh house shot. My boys looked out for me as always. Uh, so we're gonna see what this top speed look like. We're gonna throw about eight, right, probably eight to 10 shots with it, and then we're gonna switch over to it. Oh. Not my best shot. Let me get warmed up, guys. Don't judge me too hard. Yes, my top speed has the same layout as I always put on, put on all the rocks. So again, we're gonna get a little warmed up here. So, seems like similar characteristic with that 3D is, just see that back end of the pattern really quickly. stay here and see if uh if that was real when i mean again it's me still getting warmed up but i'm hitting the zone and this ball is really hooking on the fresh. It's covered. Non-altered, this is out of box. With the, the compound finish, this hooks a lot. Oh, cheating a couple more boards left. Spun down a little bit. See if I can throw this one good. Oh. This is fun. All right, so I'm gonna slow wheel this one a little bit. Getting left, slow down. So again, it's a fresh out shot. Ball's not meant to do that. Um, again, no transition. But yeah, I'm gonna get about two more shots here and then we're gonna transition to the, the original speed. Goes through the pins very, very well. This is all out of box. All out of box finish. Oh, and I fell. 
I missed down a little left. Um, I fell off that shot. Really just wasn't a great shot. But it still left me makeable. So I like that. Um, and again, it didn't over respond to the friction when I missed left into the soup. So based on that, man, we're going to go ahead and move to the speed. I'm going to start about the same way, playing a little further right. Yeah, that's a fresh speed. <laughs> Uh, a lot of service on it. Uh, so it picked up the lane really early. So you can definitely see how these two would be a complement. Um, Once a lot more oil on the lane, need a little more hook up front. Go to this, the original. Still plenty of hook in this ball. This is, again, I really love this, throwing this ball, especially on house, once it gets a little dirty. Um, so yeah, man, yeah, a lot earlier. We're gonna get about two more shots here uh, with the speed, we're gonna jump to the 3D, cause I know that's what everybody's here for. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it to y'all. <laughs> Creeping a little left. ball doesn't want to play there, but I'm forcing it, so it's still a work, but not at all the surface. Yeah, a little lazier than the top speed. Uh, that just to be earlier, seen the lane. I've said that a hundred times now, but yeah, man, we'll go ahead and get to the 3D. This is where the fun begins. Here. Ah, flat. A little deflection in there. Um, I think if I was to rough the service up, it'd make it a little more continuous, but again, the back end starting to get a little, little carry down. So the ball is just being a little, a little lazier. Give it the business, give it the business and it will respond. She's so purdy. She's so purdy, man. I'm expecting it to be a little cleaner. A little cleaner. Creeping left with the 3D. And my first initial thoughts here, it's flipping a little harder than the, than the top speed. And again, these both are out of box. Same thing, out of box. But man, they again a little earlier is what I'm getting from from uh, the, the the top speed, and then the 3D is being a little cleaner, a little sharper. more back with the top speed so you can see it right on top of each other. Missed that way left. Oh, throw one more, then we're gonna switch the angles up. how you end this little segment. On to the next set of clips. So as we look at this, uh, the numbers, uh, they're, they're similar. Uh, the biggest difference is the intermediate differential between the top speed and the attack. Uh, again, the same numbers for the speed and the top speed as far as core numbers go, uh, just a different modified cover stock. 
um, when you look at top speed and the speed. But yeah, I mean, if you look at them, top, the original speed is the earliest and probably, you know, the best use for heavier oil. And then, you know, go to the top speed and then the attack. The attack is definitely, again, weaker as far as it just is cleaner. It's not as mid lane heavy as the top speed is. So again, if you're in the market for asymmetric ball, depending on where you, where you are, the top speed could be a better option than the attack is. Um, if it's a little bit too much friction, I think that the attack is gonna be a little more, you know, big four responsive. Like, you know, it'll, it's just a little more ball and it's just faster to the friction. So again, it's something just to keep in mind. I think both of these balls are very, very good. And I do plan to carry both of these balls in my bag because of how the, the differences in the cover. Uh, the cover um, is just, again, it's a little more rollier. Again, we can look at the core numbers. They're a little different. There's a little more intermediate diff in the top speed, which I do believe does play an effect. But I feel like these covers are 100% wide. But when you look at the older Columbia 300, and older hammer covers, this new HK22 is a huge difference. Um, you are seeing a lot more responsiveness and all of these shots you're seeing, I have not touched the cover remotely, like at all. Like this is straight out of the box um, with the compound, 1500 compound. Like they have found a winning combination with this cover and the finishing that man this is a different shape than we've seen from from them period so i appreciate you guys and of course man we got some more come some more fun stuff coming on so uh, be on the lookout for it later